Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Amy and I have another quick flip through for you today. I have made another soft covered journal with the leather closure, the same leather, leather closure that was on my rustic floral journal and um, I haven't named this one yet but it might just end up being rustic floral number two. I'm not sure exactly but it is a soft covered journal um, and it's a very muted pattern, kind of a beigey color with some gold, greens, and a little bit of uh, kind of purple and this beautiful blue color. And this is like a salmon-y color. So I have stitched around the edges and the edges are frayed, but there is a double stitch line around the edge. Inside between the two layers of fabric is a layer of felt. There is one big signature and I believe this is 84 pages. Um, all of the details will be listed on my Etsy shop today sometime. But you can see the stitching right there for the signature. Again, there's the back. And there's a very sturdy snap closure. And I did leave it kind of loose. I didn't pull it over super tight because I have stuffed this journal full and I wanted you to have a little bit of room in case you wanted to add something to it. So here we go. And this is the inside. There is just a plain color fabric in here. And again, I have done the eyelet fabric closure around the signature. So you can see this is all wrapped in this nice, beautiful fabric. You can take the tie out if you choose not to use that. On the inside flap, I have included one of my paint chip pockets with a journaling tag inside there. For you to use. And then on the back side, I have a, a pocket made out of the fabric that the journal is made from on the front. And I have one of my ephemera booklets with a few little scrappy things in there and a collaged, or well, it's not really collaged, a little decorated envelope and a stitched botanical piece. And this has about 16 pages in it for writing. So that tucks into that back pocket. And we'll go inside and see what's in here. I had a lot of fun making this one. Um, I did a few different things in here than the last one, but I think it turned out really well and I hope you like it. So there's that fabric piece that covers the signature. And the first page is one of these vintage botanicals that I really enjoy using. I use those in, in most of my journals. And this is a kind of a, it's a see-through fabric and this is raised and textured, very soft and I've stitched that to the edge to make it a little more sturdy. This isn't a super thick page. And then I have a bunch of tea stained pages, um, some eco dyed pages in here, a botanical page that I turned into a pocket, and this sticks a little bit because of this mesh stuff here. But here's a journal card for you to use in that pocket. Some vintage book pages. A fabric flap made out of the same fabric that the journal is made from. Some botanical images. This is vellum and there is a leaf, like a fern leaf pattern in here. Some stitching along the edges. Vintage ribbon down the side of this kind of grid paper. Some vintage music paper. And some digital stamping on some of the pages. Here's an envelope that has a botanical image in it that flips out. Some ledger paper. This is from my old Sears catalog. And this is wallpaper trimming the edge there. Some vintage ledger paper. Eco dyed paper. And Edith Holden. This is a tuck spot with a stitched journal botanical image. Here is the center of the signature and this is a double pocket. So in this one it says a wet January, a wet spring. That's from Edith Holden. Oops, I'm pulling out both of them at the same time. So this is a vintage flash card and I have just stitched and added. This is the same eyelet fabric that is on the um, signature that goes around the signature with a botanical image and some dictionary paper under there. So that tucks right into your pocket. And there's the inside. This is stationary that I tea stained. So here's the back, and this says if the grass, if the grass do grow in Genevieve, it grows the worst for it all the year. 
That's from Edith Holden, and I probably don't say it quite as lovely as she would. Same tab at the top, and same similar images on this flashcard. And you can journal around those, I suppose, if you wanted to, or embellish them a little bit more. It's up to you. Another tuck spot with a stitched vintage botanical image. Eco Dive. There's more of that Sears catalog with some cribs. Nice botanical image in the corner. Bird and nest image over here. Vintage music paper. The other side of that fern vellum. This is a little tuck spot. Has a little tab there and this is just a blank card with these beautiful raised beads that you could journal on. The other fabric flap, some vintage map, and here's the other side of that pocket with a little journal spot with some ruffled fabric. The green on top is the same that's on the, uh, the beginning of the signature. The back of that vintage botanical and more of that beautiful fabric. And here is the back with the eyelet piece, the booklet that I showed you in the front. So we just bring this back around, tie it together any way you like. You don't even have to tie a bow if you don't want to. And there you go. That's it guys. Uh, so 84 pages and all the details will be listed in my Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed the flip through and I'll see you next time. Thank you.